Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. We want to talk about QuickBooks Online tags. Tags are new and they allow you to create two reports out of it. So heading over to the reports tab where it says find tag by report name, you can search tag and you'll see that we have either the profit and loss by tag group or the transaction list by tag group. Okay, so your capabilities, you can have 40 tag groups and inside of each group you can have up to um, 300 tags I think combined total but it, you want to make sure you understand what's the difference between a tag and a tag group okay so let's uh, give you an example here one example would be I run a consulting business and I've got different sales staff members and they're on commission. So I would have a group called sales staff members or, and then the, each tag would be the, the actual sales staff member itself. All right. Um, let's look at some other examples here and how to find out where your tags are. Click on the gear icon and then you go to tags and you will see if you have any existing tag groups right here. So I currently have software training. That five there means that I have five tags inside of it. Location, I have two tags inside of it. And tutoring instructors, I have three inside of that. So I'm gonna just take, show you a quick peek here. Those are my tags, Excel, OneNote, Outlook, QBO, and Word. Locations, my tags are online remote or in-person training. And then tutoring instructors, I've got Billy Corgan, Lisa Williams, and Steve Chase uh, is my tag groups here. Okay, so over on the right-hand side says you have created 10 out of 300 tags. <laughs> yes, I have, okay. So I'm gonna click new. And it's so important, guys, when you set up your tags, you, you probably gonna rush to do tags, but always think, What's the parent of it? What set a tag group? So the tag group here, I'm gonna click tag group. And I come up with, it, with a name for that. And then I can select a different color for that. So if I do um, business by the seasons and I have a really good summer season, I could type season as my tag group, pick a color. And then the tags within that would be summer, fall, winter, spring. Okay, so that's what I just did there. And just right off the top of the bat here, as I look at these tag groups, I can tell that Nothing has been coded yet on any transactions for that. My most busiest transactions is the instructors. I've got 11 transactions for that. And I can do some deep dives. So if I wanted to see what Billy C was up to, I click on the four here. So I don't have anything on my end. So I'm going to create my first transaction and I'm gonna be teaching a OneNote class. All right, so I click new, invoice, Customers gonna be on Eagle's wings, tutoring, OneNote class. Okay, all right. So here we go. Um, I'm ready to start tagging. So the moment I click inside the tags anywhere here, I'm gonna click right now, left click, Boom, here comes all my tags. So I want to start off and select OneNote. And once I do that, the list gets smaller each time I tag it. So now I'm gonna tag it uh, Steve C. And it will be an in-person course. And I'm not gonna tag the seasons, that was just an example. But it does show you the power of, once you start going into the tagging, it, uh, Eliminate so it's imp it's impossible to tag it 
Excel, and OneNote. So, if the, so just keep in mind there's some limitations. So at this point, you can't split a tag, but there could be in the future. Okay. Or have two tags within a group. So, all right. Um, so just double check everything here. Hit save. Awesome. So I'm going to close that out. And now let's take a look at running these reports. Okay. So you go over to the left, click reports. Uh, you can search tag and see this is one right here. I'm going to favorite by putting it as a green star. And I'm going to find this one right here, transaction list by gr tag group. Just favorite that because you can always type tag there and they come up. But now that I've made them starred, I'll have those at the top in my favorites section here. So let's begin with profit and loss by tag group. Okay, the first time I ran this, I got tripped up. I, I mean, I had all my dates right and everything. Came into customize as I'm used to filtering out. I went to filter. I saw tags. I got excited. I came here. And then I thought, okay, let's uh, go ahead and get something going here and run report. See, nothing. It's like, ah, why, why, is that, why is that not happening? Uh, so let me tell you why. It is here. Yes, folks, right here, display columns by. You have to really understand. And at first I was like, I don't see any tags. Do you guys see any tags? No, that is right here's the secret sauce. You gotta pull this scroll bar down to see them. Sneaky. All right, so I hope uh, there's uh, feedback for into us. Make sure the tag's easier to find than it took me to find it. Uh, Got it, so hopefully that'll save you some time finding out. So I want to start off with tutoring instructors. Cruel run report. And at that particular point in time, uh, we can see the uh, Steve C, Lisa Williams, Billy Corgan, and where we're at here. So clearly Lisa is the head runner and I'm in third place <laughs> to Billy. All right, uh, so here we go next. Uh, I'm going to try to take a look now. If I go to customize now, I should be able to uncheck. Uh, so, yeah, so if I uncheck, it's kind of odd that it's up here. I'm not quite sure why that's like that. But that's what I was trying to get at right there. All right. Um, let's do another one. Let's see what our our best uh, locations are. So here's in-person versus online remote. And then here's our software training. What is the best class? QBO, okay. So here I know that there's more. I believe there's an Excel class. Oh, here it is right here. Kind of weird that it, it really gives you a gap over here. So stretch it out. So here we go. Okay. You can categorize in the bank feeds also. Real quick, I'm gonna go into the transactions, banking, and this uh, hurts here for 105. Let's suppose, um, let's just do, do a quick ad for hertz as I'm trying to po populate that. Yeah, okay, travel. And so let's assume that, um, I want to put that under mine. So I used it as travel and I was going out for my uh, OneNote class kind of thing here. So that's going to add it as a transaction as well. Right there in the bank feeds, in case you didn't want to tie it to a sales form, you can just do it as a quick expense, money in, money out on any of those there. Okay. Lastly, if you ever want to uh, just do a quick snapshot, while you're in the bank feeds, just head over to tags. It's right here. And what's, what's clever about this is you can change the money in on the fly right there just to get kind of a dash bar, dash bar feel to it right there. Um, money out. Oh, and you know what? In order to get money out, you, you would need to have a bill or a, a bill, I believe. That's not going to show up. 
for um, all, sorry, all dates. I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Completely wrong. Yeah, I had it. It can be anything. I have all dates. It's just that that transaction that I had uh, was these are all just expenses. There's no you know bills or anything. Like that. So take that back. Take it back. You can do it. Just make sure you have the right dates there. Okay. Um, so all dates. That's the one that I just did from the bank feeds there. It's showing up here. Okay. Last, uh, as you scroll down, what's neat is you can see I could go in, I can open up training, and I can tell that I've got six transactions booked to OneNote tag. So if I click six here, I'll be able to see them. I'm going to go back, and I do like that run report here. So a, a quick way that you probably might find it easier to run reports, maybe just start here and hit run report. And basically, it did this for us. Instead of it saying other, it went right in and did the profit and loss by that other there. I can see that it's been filtered out as such here. So that's, that's where that's populating in there. Awesome. Okay, I would love to hear what your thoughts are on tags. How are you going to use them? Let me know. Either drop a line in the YouTube channel if you're watching YouTube or on my blog. Just go in and um, at sequentialsolutions.com slash blog. You can find many other articles as well in case you're um, on YouTube and you want to check out some of my other uh, QuickBooks and Excel tutorials. Measurement. Hope everybody has a great day and uh, talk to you next time.